Hi guys, um, today I'll be showing you how to create a fixed header where the table content is scrollable. There are a lot of other solutions available online, uh, but uh, I was having some issue finding out a solution that works when you have a horizontal scroll bar as well, like this, when you have multiple columns. So this one works for both, when you have more number of columns and more number of rows. Right. So let's get rid of, let's create a new CSS file. And we'll use that one. This is my base HTML. Um, nothing special here. We just have a heading um, H1. And then I have two div classes that are wrapping around my table element. My table element has the 20 th tags. And then we have multiple rows that have values 1, and one to 20. Right. Without CSS, this is how it looks. Let's let's just take some styling from a main CSS. This is not related to the table. This is just the heading. Right. Now to get started with, we take the table and we give it an outer border. Like so. Then we take the th element of the table and we specify the position as sticky and top as zero pixel. So that makes our header stick at the top of the page while the rest of the page is scrollable. Now, um, in order to limit the height of the table, we take the table wrapper and we can specify max height as uh, let's say 300 pixel nothing happens we also need to add an overflow y of scroll right so now only our table content is scrollable while the rest of the page is separate and then we can add some margin to this wrapper okay now we have some resemblance of what we want to achieve Let's add some borders to the th and td elements. And we can specify border collapse as separate and border spacing as 0 pixel so that the borders are overlapping each other. Now, uh, the outer element that I've added, the outer wrapper, is basically to have a border so that it looks a bit nicer. You can skip this part if you just want to achieve a fixed header. And then we can add some border radius of 5 pixel. Right. So now our. Um, we still have a problem where the text and values are getting wrapped up. Um, to fix that, we can go to our table element and mention as a minimum width uh, max content. And that makes sure that. The minimum width of all the elements is at least as long as they have the content for it. You can play around with this value and see what works for you. Let's add a bit of padding 
to our th and td elements so that they are not so cluttered there we go um, if we zoom out though we see that the outer element border that we have given goes beyond the table content so this would be a problem if you are seeing this on a bigger screen or if you are zooming out for some reason so in order to get rid of that um, we can give a maximum width to the outer element um, and specify it as fit content so that way the outer border uh, is not extending all the way to the end and wraps around just the content of it so yeah um, if you guys have any questions leave it in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them thanks